All right, so I, I toned down the amount of squash a little bit. I just I felt like it was a little too much, so I kind of dialed it back a little bit, and I like this better. Sometimes it's better to um, get a little further than you need to, and you can always dial it back rather than try to have to push things further than you want to go. So let's let's put the head turn in here now. So the head's basically going to do the same thing as the body. So uh, let's go ahead in here and uh, let's make sure that the head actually has uh, 25 frames in it. And there's a couple things I want to do right off. Um, there's a lot of things to keep track of right now. And if I think about turning the head the same way I turn the vest, I'm going to take this face and slide it back and forth and they probably scale it a little bit or squish a little bit. Same thing with the hat. And each of these whiskers and ears I can do the same things with also. And I want to think in terms of like being as optimal as I can and sort of getting as much bang for the buck as I can out of moving things. These things are probably going to all move. These two whiskers in the ear on this side, sort of like one plane of the head more or less. They're attached to this outside edge of the ball. And the same thing, the ball of the head. And the same thing for this. So I can kind of group these all together uh, to animate those one piece, but grouping, like I mentioned previously, you never want to group anything if you're going to animate it because groups don't animate. So I just want to nest them inside of another symbol and sort of combine them all into what goes like the, the near whiskers, I guess we could say. So they're all, these three things are selected. I'm going to convert to symbol and I can call this near whiskers. And then the same thing, now they're in my library. Same thing over here. These will be my far whiskers. So. And let me save this now as number three, because this is like my head turn. And I guess I can start labeling what these things are, because I need to roll back, because sometimes numbers don't really tell me what stage I'm in. All right. So now I've got a fewer uh, layers in my timeline to wrangle, and that can be a good thing. So um, I think I'm ready to turn the head. So let's go back and think about what we want to do. So at frame 1 and 25, the head is going to be kind of facing us more, and then on 13 it's going to be turned away, like almost like a side view profile, and then I'm going to be more like a front view, so a three-quarter view. So we can notate that. Before I forget, I'm going to put that timing, I'll call this notes. And on, what did I say, 1 and 25, they're going to be uh, like three-quarter view. And then on 13, it'll be more like a side view. And it's not going to be totally side view, but it'll be uh, sort of close to it. All right, and I guess before I get too much further along, I should probably just just animate the gross position of the head to the body, the broad movement. Remember, you always work broad to find your broad strokes first. So let's take care of that before we do anything else, because that'd probably make it things a lot easier. So let's see, the head is uh, anchored sort of at the neck, and if we can just maybe line that up with uh, this edge of the the body, maybe that's all we need to do. And maybe also with like, perhaps like the vest, center line of the vest maybe. So we know, I guess at this point we can turn the guides off because I don't really help this for the feet. And it's just extra things that are, extra things that are taking up screen space. No, okay, a little cleaner. Okay, so I said like, this should be kind of on that edge of the, that'll be easy to track, that edge of the body. And then, Gosh, I kind of like how it's a little bit of a cheat. He's a, he's a little bit, I don't want to push him too far. I don't want to leave him there for that. I think that looks good. Kind of cheat this a little bit. Sometimes you get too perfect and precise. You're, you're, you're over concerned with sort of the technical aspect of it. You kind of lose some of the aesthetic qualities and, and you kind of losing the thread a little bit. Okay, so that's on the outside edge. And He'll turn a little bit this way, Maybe like that. Whoops, see, I didn't set my keyframe first. Set your keyframe first. Okay, so here, here, and here. Now I gotta key these. This and this. 
and I'm going to nudge you up and a little over and I'm just going to steal that and let's see how that looks. And I'll, I'll, it's going to be out of sync, I know, but I'm going to, I'll synchronize it later, so it's okay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. That's a uh, good thing I looked at that. He should be like way over here. Okay, how's that? All right. It's sliding a little bit because it's not actually tracking with the body because the body's got extra squash on it. But in terms of like generally looking all right, like pretty good. He's got he's a little more a little more far forward than in the other one, but yeah, I can fix that. Here we can just take the whole. It's not just not pushing that far forward, just knock him back a little bit. Okay. A little better. Okay. So in terms I'm looking at in terms of his left right, I think that's I can look at that now. Because his body can be twisting, his shoulders can be twisting, but his head can be more stationary, so it doesn't have to actually track with the vest so much. So now I just need to make sure that it's tracking with the overall contour of the body because it's definitely not doing that right now. And by that I mean, you know, the squash and stretch on the body. If we look at the anchor point of the neck right there on that outside tangent, it's there and a little low there. I guess that's what we want to fix those things. And it's okay there. It's okay there. And then here it definitely needs to be following where it is too. It's going to be slow to react, and then it's going to be slow to react in the other stream, and then here, and then here. And how does that look now? Okay, so I'm only looking at the up down and a little bit of the. There's no twist on it right now, but the head turn is going to happen. So let's put that in there. So now let's go inside of the symbol. And now we know this is, so this is gonna be three quarter view. How's that look? Uh, it's fine for now. So let's go back to our side view. And by side view meaning he's just gonna turn his head more to the side away from us. So for that, we might squish this and push it over there a little bit more. I mean, maybe here we need to knock it back a little bit. And then the same thing uh, on the... Those look pretty good there. Maybe we can just nudge them out a little bit. And uh, there's probably no room to nudge these out before it breaks. Okay, so that looks all right like that. So then on the inside, what happens is this stuff needs to slide in more and then also I don't lose it too much. And then these guys need to nudge this way and then get a little parallax that way. And the hat needs some help. All right, so the hat needs to... Let's bring it more in the center of the head maybe. Okay, so now the hat needs to... The feather needs to come a little bit around this way. And then we'll just nudge it up just to give it a little bit more something. All right, let's see how this works. So the brim and the crown don't need anything yet. So we'll leave those as is, but everything else can see how those look. So we'll just dupe these. Classic tween. All the symbols. So this, the brim is a shape. And I want to remember that. Shape tween. There's a reason for that. I'll show you later. 
I want to I want to be really obnoxious so I don't forget. If I if you shape if you classic tween a, a shape, you get garbage, and anime will let you do it for some reason. Still doesn't let you do it. You don't you don't ever want to do it. So now he's turning his head. And now is that looking? Relation to everything else. It's going to be out of sync. Yep, I knew that was going to happen before I did. Because remember, I just wholesale shift or alt drag these keyframes over to these to get the symmetry of the, of the cycle, but it threw off my synchronization. So I just want to make sure my symbols are synced again. So I haven't selected here. Start with one, and then I can just select the whole layer and go to modify timeline, sync symbols, and I should be good now. How's that working? Hey, all right, I like that, all right. So now we just need to put all the extra little uh, overlap, follow through on the whiskers and the ears and stuff. All right, let's save this one down. And then um, we'll do a new one of the, of the whisker flap and stuff, the head animation.